Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share with you the things subscribers just can't stand. So these are things that you have told me uh, that you it drives you crazy about fragrance YouTubers. <laughs> so this is going to be a bit of a fun video. It's always in fun. I'm as guilty as any fragrance YouTuber. But these are the things that you guys have said kind of drive you crazy, so I thought I would kind of make fun of them a little bit. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the Weird and Wonderful family. We're an amazing community here and you need to be a part of it. And without further ado, let's get into this. First thing that subscribers really cannot stand, like they just hate it, are thin-skinned YouTubers where they're upset if they get dislikes or someone makes a negative comment and they air it on the channel. You guys don't have much time for it. <laughs> like just to be fair, we're, you know, YouTubers are human beings just like movie stars. <laughs> we're so far from it. But anyway, uh, we, we have feelings too and sometimes our feelings get hurt but there's a balance between being vulnerable and then just kind of getting complainy or whiny. Now I've had the experience of having some of these things happen. Now I don't ever talk about it because I don't want to. This is one of the things that I'm not guilty of. Um, I feel like if you are a YouTuber you have to recognize that you're putting yourself out there and whenever you're in the public eye uh, you're going to get criticism. You're going to get lots of accolades, but you're also going to get criticisms. Uh, and that just comes with the territory. So for me, I try to just remember that. Although sometimes it's a little bit hard. And sometimes people can be really unkind. Anyway, you guys don't like it when we complain about that. And it kind of looks like this. Um, someone said that I had googly eyes. And so I thought I would just not open them quite as wide. So instead of showing you emotion through my eyeballs, uh, like I normally do, and what, you know, because some of you may not like my eyeballs, I'm gonna use my mouth instead. So I'm gonna, like, if I'm really loving something, you'll know it, not because of my eyes, because I'm gonna try not move them at all, but because I'll do this kind of thing, or maybe I'll stick my tongue out or do that kind of thing, or maybe, maybe I can use my hands, like get really excited with my hands, so, if it seems a bit new, let me know what you think. Like, I appreciate the positive feedback. I want to give you guys what you like, so I'm not going to use the eyeballs anymore. I'll just keep them closed and then use the, the face and maybe the tongue a little bit, maybe the hands. Like, do like if I really like something, like, I'll go like that. Uh, I'm just thinking that maybe, like, if it's, like, instead of me going, what? like, this is amazing. Like, I can't, I can't believe how, because I know some of you don't like that. I'll just keep them closed and kind of go, this is amazing. Like, this is... Like this, oh, I have a hard time keeping those eyes. I'll, uh, it, you're gonna have to just bear with me. It's gonna take me a bit of time because, you know, I just naturally wanna do do this with my eyes, but I don't wanna scare you guys anymore. So I'll try, like use my tug or you know, you know, like that kind of thing to get my point across a bit better. <laughs> Week after week, you guys give me a thumbs up. Like, I, I can't tell you how much that improves the algorithm. It's, it, it just it energizes me. It energizes the community. It energizes the channel. But for you guys that give the thumbs down, who are you? What kind of heinous monster gives you a thumbs down? Like, please, could someone enlighten me? Who would ever thumbs down a video. So someone the other day said that my nostrils are big. And so I'm just gonna call them out. I'm gonna call them out for what that is. And I'm gonna say to you, the reason why my nostrils are big is so that every nozzle, no matter how, no matter how big, or how small, they fit up there. The reality is, is that God created this nose for perfume, and as a result, any size head fits up these schnozzes, these, these holes. These facial orifices were made for sniffing. Do you understand? I don't want to hear another word about my nostrils. Look, I can make them thin, but I don't want to make them thin because I like them big so that I can slip any size perfume bottle up my nose. I have a gift. I have a gift, and that's my nose, and every part of this nose is loved. Do you understand? I love it. I love these nostrils. I love the fact that I can fit a loony. 
that's our Canadian dollar? Yes, a loony can fit up there. It was created for sniffing. And so I don't care. You can keep your negativity. I'm very, very happy with these you hear me loud and clear. You don't want us confronting some strange random human on our videos. I get it. I, I totally get it. Next thing that drives subscribers crazy is when you bring out your unicorns all the time and you talk about how amazing this fragrance is. So it's a unicorn. Uh, we call them unicorns because they're hard to find or they're discontinued. So basically nobody can get their hands on the fragrance and you talk about it like it's the absolute best thing in the world. Kind of makes you jealous. <laughs> Like, it's like show and tell and going like, this is the best thing ever, but you'll never be able to smell it. Uh, but it's really too bad because I can't live without it. Now, some discontinued fragrances are easy to get your hands on, uh, but some are very, very difficult. And so you guys actually don't really enjoy when we talk about it. Okay, so this fragrance has been recently discontinued and um, I just happened to get it just before it was discontinued when it was not really popular and I got it for $20. 20! Can you believe that? $20 for Flora Botanica. Right now it's 300 for a 30 mil. Um, I don't know if you'll ever be able to find it again and it, it, I, like first of all, why do they do this to us? Balenciaga, why would you get rid of the most beautiful fragrance on the face of the planet? I'm sorry, but I get a bit emotional, like the fact that you guys won't ever be able to smell this, like it's seriously the best. And I'm so lucky because when it was on sale, I got myself some backups and I've got, I've got like, I've got several backups of this, like, so, so I, like, I'm, I'm never going to run out of this fragrance, like just even the thought of it kind of makes me panic because it's so good. But I don't have to worry about that, but you do, like, you do, because this is woman in a bottle. <laughs> It's just that beautiful. I hope that the price comes down. I hope you'll be able to get this one because it is so fully worth it. It's worth the price at any cost. I know I only paid $20 for this, but I'm pretty sure I would pay the $350 if I didn't already have so many, like so many backup bottles of it. Like I definitely think you should pay the $350 for it. It it, it, it brings me in a, into a place of ecstasy. Uh, it gives me so much confidence. Like I, it's, it, it, I, I, there are no words, no words. TJ Maxx, thank you so much. I only saw the one bottle, but I'm sure if you scour your TJ Maxx's, get in your car now and look for this beauty. <sighs> this one completes me. I know you guys love it when I talk about fragrances you can't find. I am willing to talk about my unicorns for you. Yes, I am. Here they are in all their beauty, all their glory. Their bottles are stunning. Like, you'll never find bottles more beautiful than this. Like, it's a purse. Like, I can practically wear it. So, like, it's so cute to start with. Like, it's a little handbag. Um, but the fragrance inside, like, so incredible. Like, I feel completed when I wear this, like, can you hear that? It's almost as if it makes my heart beat just a little faster, seriously. <sighs> I wish I could just, I wish this was smell-o-vision so that you could smell it because it's seriously so incredible. And do you see this beautiful bottle? Like, do you see it? Um, it's not wanting to focus for me, but just trust me, it's absolutely beautiful. It's green, it's snakeskin, it has a gold chain on it. it, it like, it, 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 it's, you need this for your dresser. The next thing that subscribers kind of just tilt their head to, not everybody, but quite a few, is the term perfume journey. This one subscriber was saying that when her husband hears that, he just bursts out laughing instantly, as if perfume journey is some epic thing. Now, don't get me wrong, I love perfume journeys. I, I've been on a perfume journey myself. I've said perfume journey, but the reality is, is that it's, it's almost for some, it's as if it was their massive epiphany. Maybe it was. Like, that's the thing about fragrance. It's amazing. This is how crazy trained we can become as fragrance YouTubers. Let's face it, we're obsessed. Nobody said it was gonna be easy. I knew when I got into perfume 
that this journey would uh, be full of twists and turns. I was on this path and the path was straight and the path was good and all of a sudden there was a turn in the path and I, and instead of me liking all freshies, I started to like florals. And I would smell my freshies and I'd go, what the, like what, what happened? I, I love you, like you are one of my ten for life. And all of a sudden, um, I didn't love it anymore. And so then I was like, what am I gonna say? It's like, you're on my face. I use you every day, but who are you? I loved my freshies. It was like they would betrayed me. Either they had betrayed me or my nose had betrayed me. It was deep in the dry down of my perfume journey. Uh, you know, before I had my reawakening, like my epiphany, if you will, I was so into those heavy duty uh, oriental spicy fragrances. Like I'd walk onto the bus and it would be like a cloud followed me. I thought I needed that to be fulfilled. Uh, you know, these obnoxious, strong, abrasive female fragrances. Uh, you know, and then deeper in the dry down of my journey, I discovered unisex and I never went back. Like for years and years, I was the unisex queen. I couldn't get enough. From CK1 to eternity, like the unisex freshies, I moved on to Oud for greatness, Oud for glory. I went to Oud for goodness, and then, oh, gosh, I went to Oud for, I just went, for, I went to Oud for everything. Like Oud rose, Oud patchouli, Oud jasmine, Oud raspberry. It didn't matter what it was. It had to have Oud in it. Then my epiphany came. It was essentially like, when you've finished a perfume, you've worn it all day, it's given great longevity, and then all of a sudden, it's gone, and you're on to the next thing. I can't believe it. My nose went from loving those deep unisex to wanting to wear cotton candy. It makes no sense. I thought my nose was mature. Uh, who'd have thunk that the next stage would be something that smells like a carnival? But all I can say is I'm here for it. I'm living for it. If this journey takes me into this direction, I've got to go. I've got to go where the scent trail leads. My new mantra is, I've got to go where the scent trail leads. I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go where the scent trail leads. I've got to go. I've got to go. And I am loving this stage of the journey. My perfume journey began when I was two. I smelled my mother and I was transfixed by that mixture of comfort and cleaning products. It brought me such joy and that's when it began and I am a perfume lover. Forever on this journey, it's my life. It's now or never. I don't know if I'll live forever, but the scents, they continue on. My legacy is this journey. Perfume is a bit of a journey. It's fun. I like it. I consider it an adventure. It brings us so much joy, doesn't it? Like seriously, fragrance is so much fun. It completes an outfit. It makes a day. It changes a mood. It, it brings confidence at times. Gives us a different persona when we are feeling it. I love it. I love it. It is a journey. I just think it's amazing. The next thing that subscribers don't enjoy is the I discovered it first mentality. Like, let's face it, most of these fragrances have been out there forever and someone's talked about it. Uh, as a YouTuber, I, I highly doubt we watch everybody and so I'm sure someone's talked about it, but yeah, it goes something like this. I, I couldn't sleep. Uh, and so I was doing what I normally do, which is spend a lot of time on Fragrantica trying to find the perfect perfume to bring to you because you guys mean that much to me. It's not for me. It's not to feed any sort of lack in my own life. This isn't about my addiction. I mean journey. It's about you guys. And so I explore. I am an explorer. I'm going to the outer limits for you. And so I have found this beauty. And I am, I am tell, telling you. <laughs> It's so good it tries to attack you. Like you can use this as a weapon and also the smell is a bit of a weapon because when you put this fragrance on, seriously, men will come like flies. It's got honey in it and so essentially they're attracted. They're attracted to the honey. And so if you've got the honey on, 
they're coming. They are coming for you. So I can't recommend this enough. And if they come for you and there's too many of them, use it as a weapon. You're welcome. Okay, the last one I'm going to talk about, it's kind of ridiculous, but several subscribers talked about how much it just makes them cringe. And it's like, as YouTubers, we love our fragrance, but sometimes we love it a little too much. So guys, I just bought this. It's called Zucchero Filato. It's a cotton candy fragrance. I can't wait to give you guys my first impression of this one. So let's go ahead and experience it together. Oh. 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 Oh, guys. Oh, guys. This, oh, this is so uh, stunning. You guys really, I wish you could smell this because, oh, it is, it is fabulous. And this one, this one I think is going to be top 10 for life. Like, I mean, gorge. So this fragrance, you guys know how much I love this one. And... You know, it just, it reminds me of my husband. And so I just, um, I just can't get enough of it. <sighs> uh, oh. Yeah, I can't get enough of this one. Ooh, it's so, oh, oh, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 like this? Oh, like seriously, this is good. Yeah, they don't like the sexual noises. Sometimes it comes off sexual. I don't think it ever is meant to come across sexual. The bottom line is if I smell an apple pie, I'm gonna go, oh, yeah. Like, I'm gonna do that. If I'm out in the mountain air, <sighs> like, it's just the reality. We sigh. Fragrance brings us pleasure, and so sometimes, maybe it brings us more pleasure than others. <laughs> just bear with us, okay? So that is it. Those are things that subscribers kind of hate, kind of makes them cringe. Uh, what else? Leave them in the comments if you want. I've still got more that I can do, so if you guys are still enjoying these videos, let me know. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.